Hey everyone, I'm Dr. Seibel, and today I want to talk to you about a very fundamental question. Are you still in your reproductive years? Or are you in perimenopause? And this is a question I get asked all the time. People are trying to figure this out because they may want to know if they can get pregnant, either because they don't want to or because they absolutely want to. Or they want to know, should I start screening for tests for preventive purposes? Should I start getting a bone density? Should I talk about, do I need estrogen or not? And a bunch of other things that we talk about in other videos. So I want to tell you about a study that was conducted by Dr. Mike Sewells a friend and colleague of mine for many years, and he published in the journal Menopause. And in this study, they addressed it in the following way. It's all part of something called STRAW, the stages of reproductive aging. And here's what the study did. It looked at the reproductive years of a woman all the way from early puberty all the way into late menopause, and it broke it down into these seven stages. And most of these stages were done based on the, the cyclicity of the cycles. In other words, were they really irregular in early puberty, really very regular in the peak of fertility, uh, still regular in the end of the reproductive years, but starting to notice an increase of a blood test called FSH, or were they transitioning into perimenopause, where the woman started to have cycle lengths that were uh, more than a week off, or even a later stage, close to menopause, when the cycles would start skipping two months and be even more irregular, 60 days of no periods, or longer. And all during that last two stages, FSH, a blood test, went up. And what they did in the most recent study was they looked at the ovaries of volunteers who were having, benign, uh, having surgery for benign illness and they had their ovary removed anyway. And they got permission to look at these under a microscope and they looked at the ovaries from women who were 26 all the way down to 52. And what they found is if you look at the number of eggs, the number of primordial follicles they're called, and those are the precursor eggs that turn into the follicles and the eggs that are released to have a baby, or the chance to have a baby every month. If they looked and counted the number of primordial follicles, every stage statistically dropped. So if you go for your peak reproduction, you have a lot of them, and you have the late reproduction, you have many less, and as you get into perimenopause, you have fewer and fewer all the way down. So this correlation is now very clear that these cycle irregularities, these changes, correlate very strongly with how many primordial follicles or how many eggs. Now if you are a person who wants to try and fine tune this and get it more information, this is not a test for everyone, but if you are someone who really wants to know, should I try IVF? Should I try to have that last baby? Or should I really start to have this talk with my doctor? Because I want to know, should I go on hormones? Should I have bone density? Should I, you know, have cardiovascular blood tests? You know, all these kinds of things that are questions you might have. The one test that they found that correlated the strongest was something called anti mullerian uh, hormone, AMH. And what they found was during the peak fertility, during those cycle years, anti mullerian hormones were in a band like this, quite high levels. But when you got to the end of the reproductive years, in the late reproduction, the band was way down here, very distinctly different. And finally, when you went into perimenopause, it dropped even a little bit further. So if it's mandatory that you want to know the answer about can I still get pregnant or not, that could be a test to talk about with your doctor. And the most important thing is listen to your body. When these cycle changes happen, they can be very significant and important. And it's things like this that you can discuss with your doctor so that you can fulfill the goals you're trying to do, whether it be in the reproductive years or just having the healthiest and most productive years you can as you transition into menopause and beyond.